Hello to all friends and fans of the pulp, paper and bioproducts industries. Welcome to our exciting Spectrum podcast, where we'll be talking about Andrit's introduction of a hood air system based on electrical heating, the Prime Dry Hood E. I am Mark Rushton and I will be your host. As all of us are aware, we are living in challenging times when it comes to energy prices and supply volatility. It is, in fact, the perfect storm as regulation is also biting when it comes to CO2 emissions. So today, our topic for discussion is the innovative Prime Dry Hood E from Andritz for tissue producers, which uses the same air system as gas or steam heated hoods, but with electric heaters replacing gas burners or steam heaters. As tissue mills seek to optimize their energy consumption for optimum sustainability, Andritz's introduction of a hood air system based on electrical heating is very timely. So today we are delighted to bring you two experts from Andritz who know all there is to know about this new technology. So welcome, Marco Catani, product manager, and George Nowakowski, Vice President, Tissue Drying at Andritz. Thanks for joining us, gentlemen. Thank you. Great to be here. Thank you. Thank you very much. So um, let's start with the first question. Uh, Can you give us a general summary of the challenges being faced by tissue producers when it comes to energy? And George, can we start with you, please? Yeah, no problem. Thank you, Mark. Uh, The challenges of tissue industries were present uh, since many, many years uh, and became very, very obvious in the last two or three years in terms of the uh, energy prices worldwide and in terms of the emissions. As far as emissions, uh, everybody is very sensitive about the CO2, carbon dioxide emissions to the atmosphere, where every industry, including car industries, are looking for optimization a reduction or even total eliminations. Tissue industry is a key industry that is using energy to dry and to produce tissue paper. Just to give you for the sake of argument uh, a number. Tissue machine, uh, total cost of one ton, 18%, close to 20%, it's air energy. In that 20%, 55% is drying is drying by the Yankee hood systems and Yankee cylinders. So how the drying is done? The drying is done using mainly natural gas. 99% of the tissue machines are using natural gas to dry tissue. Drying and and combusting natural gas uh, produces obviously CO2. Just to give you comparison, how much? Obviously, maybe comparing production of tissue with car industries. Uh, For example, typical tissue machine that produces 200 tons per day of tissue paper on the yearly basis generates 15,000 tons of CO2 per year. 15,000 tons of tissue per year corresponds to emissions of 3,000 cars, passenger cars per year. So that gives you good perception, good idea It is a big number. So uh, since many, many years, we were thinking that we need to do something. We need to uh, change our technology or focus on on different energies. And this is what brought us together, not only us, but many other other companies to uh, convert our gas power industries to perhaps other means of energy like electricity. So this is, this is where we are with the uh, Yankee Hood E. E stands for electrical, means not using gas, using electricity. And we are uh, developing technology within Andrew's company. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Marco, any points to add there? Yeah. As, uh, as George just said, uh, prime dried Hood E means uh, essentially heated by uh, electric energy, powered with uh, electric energy. Uh, the application of the electric uh, energy, uh, electricity for high heating, is just a 
proven technology, let's say, that is in use, uh, for example, in different sectors than uh, uh, our sector, for example, in textile industries, in wood industry, oil and gas, uh, and so. While the application of the electric energy and electric heating in tissue is, uh, let's say, quite, uh, quite innovative, and, uh, and very important, uh, as, uh, as George said, from uh, reduction of the emission to the atmosphere in terms of CO2 and NOx. This is, uh, this is uh, really very, very important uh, from uh, application point of view, really, the, really innovative technology. And we can, uh, as Andritz, uh, we would like to push on these technologies in order to try to reduce as much as possible the emission to the atmosphere. That is uh, really very important and sensitive. Okay, th thank you very much. Um, so, so we're going to move on to the second question now, which is, um, can you give us a general introduction to the prime dry hood E? What does the E stand for? Um, I'm guessing it's electricity, according to our discussion so far, but also a history of the proven application. Can you just give us a little bit more there? Yeah, uh, the, the prime dry hood E, uh, comes basically from uh, the application of the electrical heater uh, to, to heat up the air. And this is uh, particularly uh, significant because uh, it uh, is allowed to reduce drastically the, the CO2 emission and NOx emission to the atmosphere. This solution comes from uh, a proven technology that is the application of the electrical heater in the, to heat up the air that is uh, common in other sectors. And we want to apply this kind of technology also in, in tissue. Uh, this is basically the story of the system and how we, this can be really effective in tissue production. So uh, we can also add that uh, one important point uh, that uh, is an, a big advantage uh, in, in tissue drying uh, for, the, for the application of the electric heating system is that uh, you are uh, basically not affected by combustion problems that could happen uh, when you use uh, conventional fuel, like, for example, natural gas, LPG, diesel oil. Because uh, if you have problem in the combustion, you will reflect uh, a black spot or a smell problem on the paper. And this is basically not, uh, not allowed to our customer. Our customer want to have uh, a very nice and very good product that is uh, completely free from uh, any, any kind of defect. And uh, black spot uh, or smell uh, is uh, really a big problem in, in the tissue market because in our process, uh, the, the air that we use to dry the water is directly in contact uh, with, the, with the paper. So if you have a problem in the combustion, immediately the problem reflects uh, in the final product. And uh, this is not uh, acceptable from our customer. And at the same time, uh, because uh, we save, uh, we, we are for sure could and we resolve the problem of the combustion, also we enter in another specific sector of the industry that is, uh, let's say, in this moment called a green sector, because uh, we are completely covered from CO and NOx emission to the atmosphere. So basically our product, the final product can be sold as green. This is very important because green economy is something that is really developing and becoming always and always more important in the tissue market, but also in many, many other industry sectors that are related to emission to the atmosphere. George, any comments to make on that? Thank you, Marco. Yeah, I would like to add maybe something interesting, uh, because uh, people may ask, why electricity? Why not continue with, uh, with natural gas or other fo fossil fuels? I have learned with our applications, with our customer base, that a certain percentage of electricity is already generated by hydroelectric power. So it is nature generating electricity by hydroelectric power. It's basically clean transfer from left to right. And if we could tap it to that hydroelectric power, that is perhaps one third or one fourth of the, any country that generates ele electricity, either from fossil fuels or from hydroelectric power, then we have a winner. Okay, thank you very much for those answers. So moving on to the next question, what are the numbers when it comes to energy savings that can be achieved when installing a prime dry hood E? 
we can say that uh, from energy saving point of view, the, the electric heater is much better than combustion because you don't have the combustion air that you need to heat up uh, in the process. So in terms of saving, we can say that we can say uh, three or four percent uh, energy saving is uh, always uh, uh, achievable with electrical heater. And also because uh, we have, for example, uh, electrical heater concept that is that uh, uh, the technology is based on the Joule effect. You know? Joule effect means uh, the capacity to translate 100% of the electric in thermal power. And, uh, you, and basically this is, uh, from the theoretical point of view, possible uh, to, tra- to convert the 100% of the electric energy in thermal energy. This is not possible in, in combustion normally because you have the efficiency of the burner, you have the efficiency of the uh, combustion during you, during the, in this phase, you lost some, some efficiency and this reduces your capacity of drying. So in terms of uh, saving, we could say that from theoretical point of view, electric heater is better than uh, normal combustion can be with the uh, natural gas, uh, LPG, diesel oil, but generally speaking, combustion. And saving is uh, around 3-4%. I may add to that uh, section from my side. Combustion of uh, fossil fuels, specifically natural gases, which is a 90% or 90, 95% in tissue industries. Combustion by itself, by the process of combustion, uh, requires two factors. Uh, requires uh, uh, oxygen, obviously, and requires evaporation of the water because one cubic meter of natural gas contains about 10% of the water. In order to produce heat combusting natural gas, you have to evaporate water. That's another 10%. Doesn't exist in case of electricity. Electricity is clean. If you produce electricity, by hydroelectric power stations, you have a clean 100% transfer. Okay, excellent, great. So clearly it's uh, it's advantageous and savings can definitely be made. So um, what about installations? What is involved when fitting a prime dry hood E on an existing tissue machine, for instance? Okay, on the existing tissue machines, uh, uh, as they typically have today, Burner systems or combustion chambers, uh, casings, it's a box that contains a flame with a burner attached to that, to that box. So basically there is a equipment that has its own size, let's say two meters in diameter, five meters in length. So that equipment has to be substituted by electric heating box. This electric heating box will contain heating elements. Heating elements, which is basically resistance type elements, connect to the high voltage power and basically produce heat a la toaster at home. It's the same principle. So uh, to replace the combustion chamber with natural gas, it's a basically simple approach, allowing the, the bigger box or equal size box with electric heater to be put on the on the same space where you had currently natural gas box or combustion chamber. Yeah, so a relatively uh, simple job, would you say, George? Yes, it 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 is simple job, but obviously, like any rebuild, requires a, a study analysis of the space, a, a design of the electric heating elements or, or electric heating box, but it is basically. Uh, one for one replacement. There is n- not much uh, trouble to to find uh, any additional elements or additional obstacles. Obviously, electrical power has to be connected instead of natural gas connections. Okay, excellent. Uh, Marco, any comments there? Yeah, I would like to add uh, to what George said uh, to two points. Uh, mainly, that uh, is it possible to work uh, as George said. Uh, uh, we can replace uh, one-to-one uh, the combustion chamber with electrical heater, and this is an option. But also we can install, if we have the space available, the electrical heater that can work in combination with the natural gas. So, for example, you can decide to work with natural gas or with electrical heater and to switch off uh, according to the 
cost of the electricity and cost of the gas in the, in the right way and go in uh, optimization cost for the production of the paper. And this is the first point. And the second point is uh, that, uh, as George said before, uh, electricity can be produced by hydro, for sure, but also can be produced, for example, with the solar farm or wind farm. Okay. So, for example, if you can imagine that uh, a tissue mill can be completely independent from the grid, for example, installing a solar panel on the roof of the mill, you are completely uh, free from the grid. You don't need the gas pipe or diesel oil pipe from the external. And so you are completely independent from what happening in outside of the mill. No? In, this, in this way, uh, you could be really, from, from the tissue mill point of view, really independent from the, the, the variation of the cost of the different kind of fuel. And uh, in this moment, we have seen that a lot of customers are investigating in the possibility to install solar farm or wind farm close to the mill or inside of the mill if they have space, in order to be, as I said before, completely independent from the grid and from the net. Auto producing internally the electric heat, the electric the electricity that you need to heat up there. And, and in this way, you are uh, completely independent. Excellent. Great. Fantastic answers. Um, to finish up, um, gentlemen, do you have uh, any additional comments to make about the Prime Dry Hood E? Well, the benefit is obvious, environment and cost. Uh, cost is obviously the key issue. Uh, cost, like, like I said, in terms of energy in tissue machine, drying represents 55%. So everybody, every, every tissue seminar that I participate, any conference that I participate, everybody talks about energy. But I could, I could make a comment that since many, many years, Nobody was brave enough to touch the subject of electricity because it was natural gas. Everything is almost for free, very cheap. Natural gas, if you look at the one kilowatt of natural gas still today versus one kilowatt of electricity, the natural gas is three times cheaper today than electricity. So, but this is today. Obviously, everybody is looking into the future, and this is where this. Uh, uh, prime dry e hood will make Andrews a, a very venture company who will who will uh, transfer industry without any doubt. Excellent, Marco. Any final comments? Yeah, you have to consider that uh, uh, apart of the cost of the of the different fuel and uh, and electricity, you have to consider that the tissue mill pay taxes on the, on the emission that they emit to the atmosphere. So in terms of uh, emission, at the, end, at the end of the year, you have to pay one big number of taxes because of this emission that is generated by the combustion of the different fuel that you can have. With electricity, uh, this is not uh, necessary because you don't have to pay taxes or you pay much less because you don't, uh, you don't have emission to the atmosphere. Or you can reduce that drastically the number of and the type of emission that you send to the atmosphere. So this is very important point that each meal and every meal should take in account for the future. Yeah, and I, I would like to add one more comment to, to Mark on that. Uh, when you look at the globe, there is there is many countries that do not have fossil fuels, uh, neither natural gas, neither LPG, neither uh, petroleum. However, those countries are buying electricity from other countries. So in cases like that, I noticed uh, prices of uh, natural gas that is being imported by such a country versus price, price of electricity that this country is using is almost the same. So in, in terms of the, our business opportunities, to have electric heater or ele electric e-hood will, will answer the question, to many countries that do not have petroleum or, or gas industries and have electricity only available, where the cost to one kilowatt is pretty much the same, one to one. 
Excellent. Thank you very much for an excellent discussion there. So clearly, uh, the conversation on this podcast demonstrates the power of innovation and of new inventions underlying that old saying, necessity is the mother of invention. It's great to know that suppliers in the industry, and particularly Andritz in the case of the Prime Dry Hood E, are listening to producers and feeling the pain that the energy challenges are bringing. And not only are they listening, but they're supplying proven solutions that will have a marked effect on energy consumption and the carbon footprint reduction. Should any of our valued listeners wish to find out more, please feel free to visit our website. You can find the link in the show notes of this episode. That was an excellent deep dive into the advantages of the Prime Dry Hood E, and I'd like to thank our experts, Marco and George, for sharing all your deep knowledge. Thank you very much, gentlemen. It was great discussion, gentlemen. I wish we could have more often this type of discussions. Thank you very much, Marco, for the opportunity that you give us. It's very important to explain to customers and to everybody possibility and the advantage that, that we could have in this kind of application. Excellent. Thank you very much. And thank you very much to our listeners as well. And goodbye. <laughs>